Hi, so we have a problem over here, which is a slightly tricky problem based on percentage. And this particular problem we are going to solve using two methods. First one is using algebra. That means we are going to use variables. And in the second method, we will solve this problem for the people who don't know algebra. And that will be the method in which we will not use variables, right? So let's first read the statement. Statement says, the price of a refrigerator P is five times that of a cooler Q, right? So price of the refrigerator is P and the price of the cooler is Q. Refrigerator is equal to P and price of cooler is equal to Q, right? So what will be the total price? Total price will be P plus Q, right? This will be the total price. And what is the relation between these prices? The relation is P is five times that of cooler, right? So they are saying the price of refrigerator, which is P is five times Q, right? So these are the two equations. This is the total price. Let me call it equation number one. And this is the relation between their prices, right? So let me call this as equation number two. And what they are saying? Then they are saying if the price of P increased by 20%. So if we increase the price of P by 20%, the new price of refrigerator will be 20% more than its original price. And 20% more than its original price will be 100 plus 20, that is 120% of P. And this will be equal to 120 by 100 multiplied by P. And if I solve it further, the new price of refrigerator will be 1.20 P. Right? So this will be the new price of the refrigerator. Let me write it over here this will be equal to 1.20 P, right? And what they are doing next? If the price of P is increased by 20 and that of Q decreased by 40, that means the price of cooler they are decreasing by 40%. So what will be the new price of the cooler? To calculate that, I'll remove this rough calculation because we don't need it here. New price of the cooler will be equal to they are decreasing the price of cooler by 40%. So new price will be actually 100 minus 40, that is 60% of old price. And old price is Q. 60% of Q will be 60 by 100 Q. Or it can be written as 0.60 Q. This is the conversion of fractions into decimal. Right. So the new price of the cooler will be 0 0.60 times of its old price. Right. So we have got the new price of refrigerator and cooler. And now what we have to find, we have to find the percent change in the total price of the refrigerator and the cooler together. Right. So what we have to find, we have to find the percent change. So after allowing the increase of 20% in the price of refrigerator and the decrease of 40% in the price of cooler, the new total price will be, I am writing new total price. This will be equal to the new price of the refrigerator, which is 1.20p and the new price of the cooler, which is 0 060 Q, right? This will be the total new price of the appliances after doing the increase and decrease in their prices, right? And from here, from equation number two, what we have? We have P is equal to 5Q. And if I substitute 5Q in place of P in this newly formed equation, this will become total price will be 1.20 multiplied by 5q and I'll leave this in q only because I want the whole equation to be written in terms of q. So this will be 5 zeros are 0, 5 twos are 10, 
1 carried forward 5 ones are 5 plus 1 6 6.00q plus 0.60q and this will be equal to 6.60q this will be the total new price right and if I substitute this P is equal to 5q in equation number 1 the old total price will be equal to 5q plus q that is equal to 6q right so this is the old price this is the old price and this is the new price and what is it it is 6.60q let me write this q properly right so definitely as we can see if I compare this the old price and this the new price if I compare it the old price was 6q and the new price is 6.60q so definitely the price has increased and by how much it has increased the increase in the price is 6.60q minus 6q and the increase total increase is 0.60q right and this is the increase over the base price of 6q so the percent change if we calculate or the percent increase we calculate it will be 0.60q and this is the increase on the old price which is 6q and to find the percent we have to multiply it by 100 right and now if I solve it this q will cancel this q and this will be 0 0.60 multiplied by 100 that is 60 by 6 or this will be equal to 10 percent right so this will be the total change in the price of refrigerator and cooler together and the change is that the prices are increased by 10 percent right so change is positive 10 percent so this is one method and in next method we are going to solve it without using variables so let's see how do we solve in this method I am actually going to assume the price of the cooler as 100 so if I assume let the price of cooler be 100 if the price of the cooler is 100 the price of the refrigerator which is 5 times of the cooler will be the price of refrigerator let me write it this will be 5 times 100 right and that is it will be equal to 500 right so if I assume the price of the cooler as 100 the price of the refrigerator will be 500 and the total price will be 100 plus 500 that is 600 right so this is the price of the cooler and refrigerator together right and what is happening next next the price of the refrigerator is increased by 20 percent so if I increase the price of the refrigerator by 20 percent new price for refrigerator will be the old price which was 500 and if I increase by 20 percent the new price will be 120 percent of the old price so it will be multiplied by 120 by 100 right and um, these two zeros will cancel these two zeros and the new price will be 12 fives are 60 100 600 right and the new price of cooler will be what is happening in the case of cooler in the case of cooler they are decreasing the price by 40 percent so if they decrease the price by 40 percent the new price will be the 60 percent of the old price and what is the old price old price is 100 and the new price will be 60 percent of this so it will be multiplied by 60 by 100 right and this 100 will cancel this 100 and new price of the cooler will be 60 right and what will be the total price after allowing the decrease and increase in their prices the total price will be 60 of cooler plus 600 of refrigerator and it will be 60 plus 600 
that is 660 right so the old price was 600 over here and new price is 660 and since the new price is more than the old price there is an increase and how much is the increase the increase increase is increase in prices is equal to 660 minus 600 that is there is an increase of 60 this increase of 60 is over the base price of 600 so it will be the increase is 60 over 600 and to find the percent we have to multiply it by 100 right so these two zeros will cancel these two zeros 6 ones are 6 6 ones are 6 and 0 so the percent increase is again coming as 10 percent right so this is one more method in which we have assumed the price of 100 for cooler because the price of the refrigerator was given in terms of cooler the price of the refrigerator was five times of the price of the cooler so that is why we have assumed the price of the cooler as 100 right that makes the calculation simple yes of course you can assume the price of the refrigerator as 100 and then also you can perform these calculations definitely you will get the same result but the calculations I think will be slightly difficult right so these are the two methods in which you can solve this problem I think it was fun understanding these two methods right and after this we will be understanding profit and loss right so bye bye